capstone project which we did was uh, on the sentiment analysis of people and that we did for one of the political parties uh, in in uh, delhi province so uh, actually for uh, not only for this project but any other capstone project also that actually takes you through the entire life cycle of the uh, analytical project right from see because the real life data and the data which we use for building the models is quite different you expect a lot of randomness a lot of noise a lot of missing elements in the real life data and uh, as far as my experience goes almost 40% of the time your uh, project time goes in understanding massaging cleaning the data right so we got that first hand experience of that and then uh, we could apply multiple data modeling techniques on the same data which which gave us additional confidence that uh, you know uh, the the initial model which we built is robust or not is it significant or not and moreover it was so exciting working with uh, these people live on the data and seeing the trends we could really see the the power of analytics because uh, if just i want to give an example while there were a lot of positive sentiments coming out of uh, you know from everywhere literally there was one particular area constituency i would say wherein the negative trends were coming up and we could actually understand what are those negative trends and the pain areas because of which the trend was negative which was immediately committed communicated back to the political party and they took appropriate actions so we could literally see the value addition immediately that yes these are the pain areas and if those are taken care we had already seen that into the result so that gave us the the much needed confidence that uh, whatever we read in the books is not a fairy tale but it's the reality uh, which can happen in the analytical world and uh, this first uh, capstone project itself actually helped me in grabbing some more opportunities while doing freelancing we are uh, living uh, in a technology world and it's very very essential to upgrade ourselves i mean even if we are honestly doing our day to day activities within our own technology domain and all that still we would be lagging because people are gaining acquiring new new skill sets right so one thing is very clear that we have to acquire knowledge fine but in what area now so now for past couple of years or maybe for a decade analytics has been buzzing in the technology world and it will be there for coming years to come if you take my example i am coming from an era wherein uh, first of all the y2k problem was very prominent everybody was talking about y2k what will happen the systems will shut down and things like that then came the dot net bubble i mean i say bubble because kind of it bursted at that point of time but that yes there were talks about dot net currently it's all about analytics it's all about gaining the customer insights so the point is are we capturing the right skill sets and at this point of time i think analytics is the skill set which one should focus on and grab on so uh, we should go for that now then why great lakes i think i already explained that uh, the saliant features of the uh, or the aspects which i thought were prominent is like the faculty uh, the industry oriented curriculum the overall uh, helping in grooming the students then uh, carefully chosen the data mining techniques for the course because everybody has a limitation we also have a limitation of timeline so within that limited timeline how much we can teach so whatever we can teach if that is like optimally uh, chosen so that it's related to the relevant to the industry and the students can immediately apply after finishing the course then that really matters so